Hey love bugs, how y'all doing today? Happy Friday, it's finally here. I'm so happy, oh my God. What am I planning to do for the weekend? You know what I plan to do, sleep late. Am I gonna do that? Who knows? Um, Hope everybody's Friday is going well. Mine is going, I guess, well, I got really no complaints. I'm happy it's Friday. Again, I'm happy it's Friday. Here, sipping on my second cup of coffee. It's not even noon, okay? It's not that type of day. I just felt like a second cup of coffee. So here I am. Um, came on because something is is bothering me a little bit as it relates to YouTube. So, you know, I'm catching up on what I miss between, I guess, yesterday and last night and to the current time or whatever. And, you know... For the past couple of weeks or past days or whatever, what is YouTube beef? Tell me, what is it? Is is it an actual thing? Um, is it, you know, people actually beef on YouTube? I don't get it. Is it like a form of, is it supposed to be a form of reality TV? Um... I know, was it last year? I think last year there was like this, I don't know if it was like a YouTube beef or whatever between some uh, reactors or whatever. And it turned out to be a skit <laughs> and people were like falling for it. Like myself who was new to YouTube was falling for it or whatever. Didn't have come to find out it was a skit. Mm, I didn't think that was cool. Um, but I, I guess people do it for views. I'm new to to YouTube so I guess I don't I don't get the humor in it um you know I was watching one of my uh she's a favorite um channel of mine I won't say any names or whatever and you know she had did a video on another YouTuber and she was saying that how the YouTuber reached out to her and ask her to take down the video because the YouTuber had took the video down. And she said that, you know, the video had earned her a lot of uh, watch time and, and likes or whatever. And, you know, it was a video that she can make money off of. But she did the ladylike thing and honored the request of the other YouTuber, YouTuber who asked her to take it down. And for me, that was a class classy act because she didn't have to do it but she did and that was ladylike because she thought to herself was it about the money or is it about doing the right thing being integrable and she decided to be integrable and kudos to that youtuber if she's watching she know who she is because that was a classy act, very classy. I don't understand if, you know, ladies going back and forth in videos, calling each other names, heading below the belt, telling them they look like something, um, you know, pointing out imperfections that they may have, you know, as a lady, and I'm sure some guys too, but as a lady, you know, we have imperfections, okay, about our bodies and our face that we don't like. There's really nothing you can do about it unless you're, you know, going to go change that imperfection. And for somebody else to point it out, particularly another person of color, to point it out and make a person feel as low as, you know as possible or whatever that is not nice that's not nice so i'll give an example see i have a dent in my forehead like a little dent or i don't know what it is it doesn't bother me i don't really pay attention even with the makeup or whatever if you see it you see it if you don't you don't so if me and you were face to face and you noticed this would you actually tell me face to face hey can I let you got that dent or you got that mark no you wouldn't and i'm sure these ladies who tell other ladies pull up da 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 da, da, da 
what are we in grade school? We're in high school. We're adult ladies with children. Some of us have grown children and you're carrying on like you're like, you're in the streets and that's not nice. It doesn't make you look any bigger than the other person. Why would you, a lot of people have like kids and daughters and sons. Why would you, you're, you're not setting an example for your young people to follow. Okay. I mean, like, really, if you don't like what a person is saying, come off the channel or hit a thumbs down. Okay. If you like what somebody is saying, hit a thumbs up. Try to be mindful in your comments if you decide to comment on that video. Everybody lives how they want to live in their house. I live how I want to live. Nobody can't tell me how I want to live. If I choose not to feed my kids or have my kids yelling in the background or whatever, <clears throat> kudos to me. Okay? Maybe that's the norm to me. It's not. But maybe that's the norm for me. Okay? If um, I... I'm involved with some guy who used to <laughs> rob banks or whatever back in the days or whatever. Why are we going to the courts and digging up people's records? Maybe that's what he used to do, but then now he's a changed person. What happened to forgiveness? What happened about not judging people? What happened to all of that? Everybody has a past, whether it's good or bad. Why are we digging up people's past? Why is it that, you know, I was watching another YouTuber this morning. I used to be a subscriber, but it was like some thing she did or thing she did I didn't care for. So I unsubscribed to her channel. Even though it still comes recommended, I may watch it from time to time. And I was listening to her video today or whatever, and she experienced some, I think, childhood trauma. And um, another YouTuber was calling her a liar, saying that it's a made-up story or whatever. And now she feels that she has to go and get the evidence um, to prove that so-and-so. Why? That takes a person who experienced trauma back to that place. Why would you, as a person, want to do that? I mean, that's not nice. That is a nice. If she said it happened to her and it happened to her, it happened to her. Why do you feel the need that now she has to go and get documents to prove that that happened to her? That's not nice. I just, it's not nice. It is a nice. What happened to kindness? What happened to lifting people up? Then we wonder why there's so much depression in the world. Because everybody's beating everybody down. You know, it's like you think you get two steps ahead and then somebody pushes you three steps back. That's not nice. It isn't nice. I mean, me as a small YouTube, YouTuber trying to grow my channel, I mean... Yeah, I could become a, a YouTuber who comments on other people's videos that I don't agree with or whatever. But that's not... I didn't want my YouTube channel to grow that way. It's either going to grow the way it's growing, very, very slow, and me not degrading other women or other YouTubers, or I just wouldn't be on YouTube. I didn't want to be that person because I'm not that person in real life. If I honestly say something on YouTube, that's what I mean. If I say that I'm going to do something, that's what I'm going to do. And I don't look for nothing in return. Because that's the type of person that I am. I know once I asked a, a YouTuber, you know, for some information on how to, um, I think like, like wholesale information or whatever, and I felt... You know, the response was like, oh, figure it out for yourself. Um, and like, they didn't want to share the information. 
Why? I didn't understand that. I didn't get that. But for me, you know, if somebody had to ask me, I'm giving you all the information and more because that's the type of person that I am. I don't get it. We all here on YouTube trying to do the same thing, like to get a little extra cash. You shouldn't have to downbeat or browbeat or poke fun or make fun or call somebody out their name. Yes, women, young and old, because I'm pretty surprised that some women that are my age, I'm 50, okay? I'm 50. Stooping down to people's level. Why? It takes you out of character. And then it makes you look like, you know, you understand it? It's, it's not a good look. You know, people are going to say what they're going to say. People have their own opinions. It is what it is. Do I care what they say about me? No, I don't. I could care less. It is what it is. Sorry, I'm at work. It is what it is. I don't care what you say about me. I know who I am. You know? If that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I'm not saying that I'm a saint, because I'm not. And I will say, if you come for me, I will come for you. But I'm going to do it in a ladylike manner. I'm not going to call you out your name. I may do that behind the back, behind your scenes. Um, because I'll be mad and I would have the pace to calm down, but I'm not going to get on and put it, do it on a video. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. And if you feel like you want to be mean or whatever to me, <laughs> kudos to you. Go on. All right. At the end of the day, I don't have to ask nobody for nothing. Okay. Nothing. I have everything that I want. I have everything that I need. There's nothing that I want and need at this time. Nothing. And if I do, I know how to go get it and pay for it with my own coins and not expect somebody to do it for me. Okay? Everybody has a past, good or bad. But what about character? What about integrity? What about doing and saying the right thing? We need to lift one another up not tear each other down. That's how the world is going to work. If somebody asks you for some advice, pretend you that person asking for advice. How would you like somebody to respond to you? Don't be so selfish. And I say in all my videos, sharing is caring. Because it is. I was brought up to share. And if you feel that sharing is going to make um, you think that the person is going to outshine you, then that's the wrong attitude to have. Because one minute you can be all the way up here, the next minute you come all the way down. And then you may need that person to help you. Be kind. Okay? Be kind. Think about things before you say it. Okay, everybody can't be a beauty queen. Okay, everybody can't look like Halle Berry. Okay, that's how God made us. Be happy in your skin. Don't point out another woman's imperfections. That's not nice. It really isn't. And that's my opinion for today. So I want everybody to have a blessed Friday. Um, have a wonderful weekend. Whatever you're going to do, please do it safely. Please wear your mask. Um, and what else? Just stay blessed. Be kind. Smile. Give somebody a kind word, word or two. Don't be so mean. Don't be so heartless. Because that's not nice. 
and I'm saying it with my serious face because I'm really serious. I'm just, you know, YouTube is whew, it's like crazy, like a reality TV. I don't know. I really don't know. It's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. But happy Friday. Nice weekend. Smooches.